Now, I know when I'm up here and I'm all fired up and I'm preaching and I'm hollering and I'm quoting scripture, the devil tries to make it seem like, oh, that's, you know, that's because, you know, he, he, he's in the ministry. But I want to share a story with you that happened over the weekend. So it's the second night. And he's giving words of knowledge. So th that means he's giving a word about a certain injury or a certain thing in someone's life to minister to them and to have them be healed. And all of a sudden, as we're in the service, my neck, the backside of my right neck gets so hot and tingly. And I thought, I've been sitting a long time, my neck probably fell asleep my shoulder it would not go away and then all of a sudden the Holy Spirit reminded me of when the school of prophets were here and they were up here teaching and they were telling me uh, they were telling the congregation in their teaching that sometimes when the Lord is saying he wants to heal something he will make that body part extremely hot and that popped up in my mind and I said no way that is not what my, my shoulder is asleep. I better just keep moving it. Because let me tell you, I, I've never given a word I've never uh, like that in my life. Not one time. I'd heard about it. I saw the dude on the stage do it. I knew that he was doing it. But in my mind, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I didn't think God would choose me to do that. Being completely honest. So he has people stand up and he's praying. People are getting healed. They're jumping up and down. They're waving their hands. And, 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 I, and, and then he says, for everyone to sit down. And I thought the service was over. So I thought I dodged a bullet. But then he said, any of the students that were in the class earlier today, if you have a word of knowledge, I wanna take 10 of you up here to give it to the congregation. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, you better go up there. There is 800 people in that room. I preach a lot every week. In front of the tree, probably a couple hundred people in my life, you know. But I was terrified. And I did not want to go up there at all. And he says, okay, you guys go ahead and come forward. No one went up there. Because I thought, if I hesitate a little bit, this place is massive. Ten people are going to go up there for sure. And I can like kind of halfway stand up and be like, God, I tried. He said, what are you doing? John, I mean, that's exactly what he said to me. David, what are you doing? You better get up there. And it felt like eternity. So I stood up and I got out of my seat and I walked to the front. And as soon as I got up there and looked at all the people, I immediately regretted it. And then my mind starts racing. What am I supposed to say? My neck is hot? That can't be, Lord, this, and, and, and I, my mind is just racing. Hey, well, how do, I, how do I start? Do I say the Lord showed me? But, and it's just, my mind is just racing and racing and racing. And I just see the lady. She's on this side. And she's getting closer and closer and closer. And I realize there ain't too many more people till that microphone's about to be in my face. And all of a sudden, I'm like, God, I don't know why you got me up here. And I don't know what I'm going to say. And all of a sudden, she stuck the microphone in my face. And I said, neck right. And if I'm going to be honest, the lady looked at me with a confused look. And I'm like, idiot, why did I say it like that? 
and people were standing up, right? If you gave the word and it ministered to someone, kind of like I did earlier about the ear thing, someone would stand up if that word resonated with someone to build the faith. And there was like 70 people up, standing up, so many of the words were working, but I was so down on myself, I couldn't pay attention to see if anybody stood up for my word or not. I kind of saw somebody stand up, but I, then all of a sudden I'm thinking, well, is that for my word or their word? I don't really know. And the devil's just pounding me into the ground. You made a fool of yourself. How could you do this? You think you're anointed. You think you really hear from God. You just made a fool of yourself in front of the largest crowd you've ever spoken in front of. Boom, 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 knocking me down. And then the Randy Clark stands up there and he says, so now we're going to go into a prayer time. And I just wanted to get off the stage. I wanted to go back to my seat and just say, God, I tried. Sorry, I let you down. I'll, I'll do better next time. And he said, so what we're going to do is, and he turned and he looked at all the people that gave words. He goes, I want to give you a chance. If the people who stood up here gave a word and that resonated with you, please come up and get prayer and stand in their line. And now I'm really nervous. Am I going to be the only one with no one standing in their line? God, I, I tried. Just know I tried my best. And then he said, okay, everybody come up. And I had my head down, and when I looked up, there was a line full of people going back in front of me. About 10 people in front of me. And the first man came up to me and said that he had had a neck problem for the last three months. And the moment that I said, right neck, that all of a sudden he felt a heat in his neck and he started moving his neck and he started shaking his head and he started jumping up and down and thanking me. And I, I, my mouth, I'm sure, was wide open. Praise the Lord! I didn't even pray for the guy. I was so excited, I just shook his hand. Amen. that said the right neck, right? And they'd tell me their story. And then another person, and then another person, and then another person, and then another person. There were seven people that had issues with their right neck. One lady since 1970 from a car crash, and she showed me how she had full mobility and moved her head all around and was so excited. And what I, wanna, what I wanna tell you is, I'm not telling that story to brag. What I'm telling you was, is that I wasn't a preacher in that moment. I was a man who was scared, who stepped out in faith and didn't even say the words right, was totally embarrassed, was totally ashamed, totally thought I failed. But I wanna tell you tonight, if God has chosen to use you and he's calling you to do something, it doesn't matter if you think you do it right or do it wrong, that God's gonna use you because he's called you to do it in that moment. And that people will be lined up with the blessing of how God used you to say two words. And I want to ask you, can you say two words? Because if you can, there will be an anointing and a calling and a blessing that you can speak in the people if you listen to the Lord. That changed the way that I look at things moving forward.